This is a road trip you should definitely do. Start in old Quebec City, basically drive along the St. Lawrence River. We're on our way to Saguenay, Quebec, a beautiful part of Canada, and a great car to do it in, the new C-Class Coupe. The Mercedes-Benz C-Class, whether it's the sedan, the convertible, or the coupe, all have a very upscale and sophisticated look. They look like a smaller version of the S-Class Coupe convertible or sedan. This C-Class Coupe has a fantastic looking diamond grille and lines that look good from every angle. We really took the, the design seriously with the coupe this time, so you can see that it is completely different than what we have in the C-Class sedan, and it follows the design language that we've seen in a number of our new coupes, like the S-Class coupe, and even like the GLE coupe, which we launched last year, so you can see the design language on the rear of the car, very exciting, very different than the sedan, and very beautiful. As sophisticated as the outside is, it really is the interior that is the showstopper. This coupe has a similar dash to the sedan. The jet-inspired air vents really dominate, as does the center screen that is activated by the center controller. So we have our command controller and our new touchpad. So that's, you know, the kind of the evolution of where things are going now. So we give customers the option, the, old, the, the rotary controller that we've had in our cars for a number of years, but then also now the, the Cobra, as we call it, that comes over top of that with the touchpad integrated. So it allows you to, uh, to write with your finger if you want to dial in numbers, letters, things like that for uh, navigation entry, uh, radio stations, etc. Well, this part of Canada is a perfect place to drive a car like this because when you get outside of the major centers in Quebec, you have the most beautiful scenery, but you also have uh, some very uneven roads. Quebec's notorious for cold winters, and the roads definitely suffer because of that. But the good test for this car is how easily it eats up all of the uneven surfaces. Now, the C-Class Coupe is available with a regular suspension or an air suspension, and the car we have here has the air suspension, and it is doing a fantastic job. Now, the thing about the current C-Class sedan is it's gone from a contender to right near the top of my list when it comes to cars that I would actually choose if I was buying in this segment. And now you have the sexier, sleeker, two-door version which just looks fantastic but it drives in the same manner it's 50 kilos lighter than the previous model but yet it's bigger in every way now most people are gonna buy this car it's the C300 it has a two-liter four-cylinder turbocharged engine with 241 horsepower and I would describe the power as adequate it's not breakneck don't worry Mercedes will sell you the more powerful uh, C43 with the turbo six cylinder, and then there's gonna be the C63 with the V8, which has tons of power, but this will be the one that most people will buy. So it's, uh, it's wonderful to have an option like this, and it certainly looks good, and it feels great. A great touring car on a long road trip like this. No matter how sporty of a car we make, we want to make sure that we're the safest vehicle on the road no matter the segment. We're featuring a lot of the newer technologies that are trickling down from some of our other uh, launches in recent years. Things like the crosswind stabilization, things like pre-safe, uh, blind spot monitoring, and Collision Prevention Assist Plus, which uses the radar array and the front grille of the car to monitor the traffic situation in front and always be watching if a collision is possible and to warn the driver, and if the driver doesn't take action, then to actually autonomously brake. And that's all standard equipment and also uh, attention assist, uh, monitoring those 72 different parameters of your driving style to see when the driver might be uh, a little bit tired, maybe time for a break. Well, our two-day, roughly 1,000-kilometer journey ends right here in Saguenay at the airport, and it has been a pleasure driving this new C-Class. And I tell you what, over Quebec's rather bumpy roads, seeing beautiful scenery, really come to appreciate just how poised and comfortable this new C-Class is. So we're starting out with a 241 horsepower version. Can't wait to drive the C43 and the C63 coming later this year. Looking for a new vehicle? Check out all the models at our new website, drivingtelevision.com.